In this tutorial, you will learn how to insert, apply, and use decals. There are two ways of inserting a decal into your map. The first and the most commonly used way is to go into the content browser, navigate into the folder where your decals are stored, left click and drag right from the content browser into perspective viewport. This will insert a deferred decal actor and assign a decal material to it. The second way is to go into the modes panel, switch over to visual effects tab and left click and drag deferred decal actor right into the perspective viewport. And if you had a decal material already selected inside the content browser, it will automatically assign that decal to be used in deferred decal actor. But if you had nothing selected, so in the content browser, left click in the gray area to deselect any material. Now let's come over here and redrag deferred decal into perspective viewport again. This will assign a default decal material. And if you come over here in the details panel, this decal does not have a decal material assigned to it. And in order to have a decal material to be assigned to a deferred decal actor, select it inside the level, select the decal material you want to use, come over to the details panel under decal, decal material, and left click on this arrow to use selected asset from the content browser. This will assign that decal material to deferred decal actor. This is also a way to replace existing decals in your level. So let's come over here. Let's say we wanted to replace this decal. Select it first. Navigate into the folder where your decals are stored. Select the decal you want to use and replace. And I come over to the details panel under decal material. Left click on the arrow to use selected asset from the content browser. This will replace already existing decal inside the level. And to remove any decal, just simply select it in the perspective viewport and then hit delete. Once you've inserted a decal, you can now move, rotate, scale, and project that decal on any surface inside your level. To control how your decals are projecting, select the deferred decal actor by left clicking on it inside the perspective viewport. Make sure that you are not in game mode. You can cycle on and off game mode by pressing G on the keyboard. With the decal selected, if you press spacebar, you will cycle between move, rotate, and scale gizmos. These will allow you to position these decals and project them better. So let's go ahead and choose move tool and project this decal right into this wall. So let's switch over to rotate, rotate 90 degrees this way and 90 degrees this way. You will also notice that every decal will contain a blue arrow. This arrow is the direction of projected decal. So make sure that this arrow is pointing towards the object onto which you are projecting the decal. So let's switch over to move tool, move it up and make this bounding box surround the geometry onto which you want to project your decal onto. Anything outside this bounding box will not receive that decal. So let's move it closer to the wall. Now let's switch over to scale tool and scale this uniformly. And as you scale this, you want to be very careful that you don't scale this decal inside out. So if I continue scaling this, the scale bounding box will be reversed. So if we get this closer, we have this decal projecting on the wall. But if I continue scaling this, it will flip the projection and will not work. So there will be a point to where you will have to scale to increase the size of the projection larger along X axis. And then you can continue scaling uniformly to make sure that this decal will be projected onto the geometry that you want. So let's go ahead and move this up and scale along X axis only, just enough to include the static mesh that it's projecting on. In order to improve performance of decals, you want to make sure that the bounded box is not too large and it's only affecting objects that need to receive that decal. Now let's go ahead and align this decal in the center of the wall. Move tool and just move it over. Now I want to show you one property which you will encounter and it is the ability to turn off for certain static meshes to receive decals. So I'm going to come over here. I have a static mesh back here and I'm going to move it in front and position it in front of the wall. And as you can see, the static mesh 
is receiving the decal that's being projected on the wall. But in this case, we don't want the static mesh to have that decal. And you can turn this off on any static mesh to receive decals. To do this, select the static mesh. And in the details panel, come over to the options menu and enable show all advanced detail. I'm actually going to open up a new details panel so we can see better. So I'm going to move it over here. So this detail panel is the same thing as here on the side. So I'm going to come over here in the options, use the drop down menu and enable show all advanced detail. This will show additional options in the detail panel for the selected static mesh. Now you want to scroll down under rendering and disable receive decals. This will turn off that static mesh to receive any decal. Another quick option is if you don't enable show all advanced detail, you can simply do a search for receive and this option menu will pop up and you can disable it from here. Now let's go ahead and close this detail panel. And the last option I'm going to show you is the ability to define sort order of decals. This means that you can render one decal on top of another. So I'm going to drag this decal blood and I want to project it on top of this poster. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees and rotate this 90 degrees to project it on the wall. Being aware where the projection arrow is pointing, that's the direction of the projection. Now I'm going to scale this and now scale this on X to give a bigger boundary box of our projected decal. Now let's go ahead and scale it again and scale it out and move it so the wall is being affected. Now it's not projecting on top of the poster because it's confused of the sort order of which decal should be rendered on top. We can control this by defining a sort order for each decal. Let's go to window, open up a new details panel. I'm using this because we can't quite see here on the side. So I'm going to select the decal poster first. And in the details panel for that decal, I'm going to come down under decal. We have sort order and I'm going to set this to zero, which is default. Now let's select the blood decal and under sort order, I'm going to set this to one. This will set the blood decal to render on top. So the higher value will render on top. Now, in order to keep everything nice and optimized, avoid having too many decals being rendered on top of each other. So this is how you insert, apply, and use decals inside your level.